Hey, I don't know if it's me, but the day that I posted the video about tops going public with mud right here, within an hour of me posting that video, the stock shot up. And then the next day, it shot up even more. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's me, but you see, it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta see me doing my thing. Yeah, it could have been, could have been me. Yeah, I, I don't know. See, hey, say this NFT stock can make us very, very rich. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this video, we're gonna discuss on whether you should buy tops going public or not. They're merging with the SPAC MUDS. I'm gonna give you everything that you need to know in this video. Could this stock continue to shoot up in the near future? Cause I made the video and everything about that company just seemed, everything about this merger seemed right for me. And, and it shot up and the price is really high right now. And a lot of you guys are wondering, is it too late for me to get in? Well, I'm gonna do a complete market analysis and tell you guys exactly all of the mud plays in this video. This stock, I think it got the potential to make me very, very rich in the near future. But before we dive into it, this video is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description, deposit $100, and now you'll receive two free stocks valued up to $1,850. With those two free stocks, you could keep them inside the platform and decide to use it, or you could sell those two free stocks and withdraw all of your money. It's literally free money. Also, I left a link down in the description to Coinbase. That is by far the easiest way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. So if you want to get in on tops early before they officially become a publicly traded company, they are merging with the SPAC, which is a special acquisition company. It's just a blank check company in place waiting for a company that's private to go public. And Tops is merging with MUDS Muds. That is the company that you want to buy right now if you're trying to get in on Tops before they go public. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys all the backstory, all the back information. Then we're going to do a technical analysis on Tops. And then we're going to look at why I think Tops has the potential to 10x in the very near future due to their new NFT cards. Now, I used to collect baseball cards back in the day. I got a Ken Griffey Jr. card. I got some Allen Iverson basketball cards. I got a Jeff Bagwell card. I mean, I'm from, I'm from you know, the Houston Astros. Anything Astros, I got. So all of these cards I used to always collect. And now that they're starting these NFTs that sells for millions of dollars, you bet your butt I'm about to get in on it early. You So, man, let's just go ahead and start diving straight into the information. Here we are, Dreamers, on April 6th, um, MUDS, a blank check company, uh, went announced that they was going to be merging with the 80-year-old company best known for its sports cards and bazooka in its bubble gum, uh, which is Tops. And they also make the ring pops and the big chew. Yes, that's Tops that makes all of that, right? But we're really focusing on their baseball cards. Now, it was initially overlooked by investors. The entity was uh, traded as a moderate premium to the deal level of $13 versus $10 due to the knowledgeable gap in understanding the transformation nature of Tops business from the uh, adaptation of non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Now, when they first said they was gonna go public, nobody really cared at all. It's like, okay, they're going public. But when they, they, they announced their business structures that they're gonna start making NFTs, these baseball cards, NFTs, that is what changed the game. These NFTs have since hit the market and have uh, generated extremely strong interest from collectors. And should these trends uh, persist, this will easily multiply Topps valuation. So Topps is one of the few publicly traded companies that has the unique opportunity to transform their business via the use of NFTs. To investors, this is a significant upside that you would get when you invest in Topps practically for free. Okay, so you guys don't know what the their NFTs are. Let's go take a look. Here we are on the Tops website, Tops MLB. Um, you can hit start collecting, and they had sell some packs for five dollars and ninety nine cents, and you will get six digital collectible cards, or you could buy a forty five digital collectible card pack for a hundred dollars. Inside these packs, just like regular baseball cards, you could open them up, and hopefully you'll get 
the the best rarest baseball card out there that you could resell on eBay for $10,000, $20,000. That's how the old baseball cards used to work, right? Well, now they're digital and all of these digital cards hold the exact same value as the cards that you used to open up in the um, in the physical pack, except now they're digital and you could do even more with them. So here's a look at some of their NFTs that they have. I mean, these are absolutely stunning with the moving background. These aren't even the holographic shit, guys. These are just the moving backgrounds. Uh, these are the epic exclusive. We're gonna take a look at the legendary exclusive in just a second, but these cars are already going for over $100,000. Now, the importance of this being an NFT and us being investing to them is because they are on a smart contract. That means whenever these cars are being sold and are resold, the, the creator of these NFTs are getting a cut let's just say 10 percent let's say if someone was to buy this for ten thousand um, dollars tops would get 10 percent of that and then let's say this card get resold again for a million dollars and then get resold again for another million dollars like this card we transfer from owner to owner to owner and every time it transfers from owner to owner to owner tops get a 10 percent cut of that nft now with physical baseball cards tops is not getting any cut they print out the card and the card get resold for ten thousand dollars tops don't see any of that but with nfts tops under the smart contracts is going to get a piece of that revenue every time that card that collectible card is being sold now if i would have looked at these nfts and they would have looked pretty weak i would have i would have said nah but these are absolutely amazing let's look at one more let's look at the legendary exclusive there we go these are the holographic packs right here so you could buy a pack for five dollars you could buy a pack for a hundred dollars and hopefully inside one of these packs you get one of the moving backgrounds or with the holographics on it like um the cardinals have or you could even get a signed one from the player itself now some of these cars is absolutely stunning now what makes these cars so rare is how many of the nfts are produced all of these are under 20 that mean only 20 of them would ever be made but these are the ones that are the most expensive most nft cars go for maybe around four or five dollars per card but the most expensive ones the rare ones is going to go for 100 200 300 a million dollars per card and just remember every time that million dollar card is being sold tops the company that we're investing in is going to get a piece a cut of that money all right so let's do a quick market analysis on mud right quick muds remember this is the stock that you want to get if you want to get in early before tops go public and then i'm going to tell you guys exactly how tops is probably going to pay it play out after the merger date all right so let's pull out the fibonacci sequence you guys already know i love the fibonacci sequence if you are not subscribed to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because youtube is acting real funny right now so we're going to go ahead pull out the fibonacci sequence and retrace it all the way up to the top so tops have went all the way up to an all-time high of around 17 dollars and 87 cents and right now it's pulling back to around 16 dollars and 30 cents the, the rsi is pointing down and the macd is also pointing down that means it's probably going to pull back within this range is it overpriced right now in the height probably the hype from my video i'm not gonna say my video but the hype has blown this stock up but the hype has blown this stock up to shoot all the way up to the top it's a little bit overbought right now it's probably gonna pull back so another great entry point for me would be 15 dollars. if it hit 15 dollars, i'm gonna pick up another 30 or 40 shares or so and then wait for it tops it's probably gonna trade anywhere between on 14 and 17 dollars for the next couple of weeks until it starts to get closer to its merger date which is um q3 uh late q3 early q4 now leading up to the merger date tops is going to explode it's going to shoot way past 17 dollars you're going to make so much profit it's going to explode tops now i'm not a financial advisor at all but i believe i've seen it with charge point i've seen it with all these other specs but leading up to its merger date Tops is going to explode. It's going to explode through the roof. It's going to blow way past $17. It's probably going to be around like $25 to $28. And then after the merger date, it's going to pull back. It's going to pull all the way back down to around like $15 or so, maybe $17. It's going to pull all the way back. And then that's just where we're in it for the long run. But that's on normal specs. That's on normal mergers. It could be completely different because remember, Tops 
is one of the few companies that's actually going public with an NFT model. So this golden zone right here would probably be a great entry point. If you want to keep up with this, make sure you hit the subscribe or subscribe to my Patreon where I post um, technical analysis inside of the Discord. And that link would be down in the comment section. So from this technical analysis, we can see that the RSI is pointing down. That means it's not overbought or oversold, but it is pulling that back. But the MACD did cross right here and it has a major pullback. So we'll wait, we'll wait. And it's so far away from the 180-day EMA line that we'll wait until it starts to catch up. And I think it should pull all the way back to around the $15 price point. That would be a great entry for us so yeah guys uh anything could change at any moment maybe a million a couple of million dollars is sold and tops valuation shoot through the roof due to the nft so if you want to keep up everything to do with tops make sure you subscribe to this channel i'm very interested inside of this stock so i'm going to keep up with it if you want to keep up with it too make sure you subscribe and also hit that notification bell because like i said youtube acting real funny and I think I know why. So go ahead and hit that notification bell because that helps me out more than you can even imagine. And also, if you want to keep up with tops and my plays on where this company is heading in the near future, I'm very excited about this company. I love cryptocurrency and all the technology that has to do with it. So this is one of the companies that's going to stay in my portfolio long term. But other than that, I'm Zeke bringing you the Dream Green Show and I'm out. Peace.